Right, so this is one of my wisterias. It's a Japanese wisteria. And all I'm gonna do at the moment is give it a little bit of a late season trim. Um, it's put on its second flush of growth and it's given me some long extensions which are long and straight and they don't look in keeping with the tree so basically what I'm going to do is go back into the tree find about two buds cut above and take it off um, that way you're going to keep the character of the tree as you can see it's got some really nice gnarled bark this particular one is coming very low down on the trunk that can go out completely but it's just a straight rippy bit of growth uh, there's another one I saw here we go this one here is going back in towards the tree so you don't want the flowers all falling down inside you want them cascading outwards to make a nice shape this one here I've already trimmed it back once but as you can see you've got the old twisted bark here and then you've got a few small buds right in close and then you've got the long extension so that is going to come off to there so that gives me one two three different buds for next year I can decide which one I want so it can cascade down uh, same with this branch here so I've already trimmed it a few weeks back but as you can see we've got this lovely old bark here then the straight young growth I've got one two three four five in close because there's a bigger gap there I take that off that gives me five options next year as to what I want to do I can always trim it back again to three um, in fact that looks a bit out of proportion so I think I will I'll do it now so I take that back to three that's good I've got too many there really by the look of it um, I'll, no I'll leave that for now that's that's okay right so there's another one here going straight back up and into the tree so I'm coming back to the first two again take that off and see it's, it's just starting to turn into its autumn colours so we've got another one here and go back to two buds and we've got this one coming straight out of the top here what have we got inside? ok, we'll come up there there's another two buds for next year and we've got this really long extension come off of this side branch here so yeah, we've got quite a few buds there I'm going to take it back to there so that gives you an option of four to five growing tips next year this one, what have we got here? Yep, that can stay as it is. That's going to be about it, I think. Right, so we can take that off of there. We don't want that going back low down on the trunk. Maybe that one as well. So again, this tree has been in my collection for at 
least 25 years. It used to be an upright tree at one stage. I turned it into a leaning tree because that way I get all the red seams coming down this side and it looks really lovely when it's in a full cascade of flower. When it was a straight upright tree, that was the effect it was, and I wasn't really that happy with it. So I decided to lean it over, give it a bit more character. I'm doing that, I can actually see I can take that branch out. That's not actually needed. That one's so that's looking okay. I think I might even reduce that one to one more bud actually. That's better. Those ones are going back into the tree. I think I'll take those off. Go. That's better. That'll give it a bit more shape in the new year. Right, so that one can come off. I think that's all I'm, all I need to do at the moment. So that's basically it for this tree. So, so it's just a question of cutting back the new growth to two or three buds, five at the very most, depending on the shape and position of where it is on the tree. So if you can keep short internodes, it's going to give you more interest in the tree. Um, I don't put any wire on this series. The branches, I found it can snap very easily so it's just a question really of clipping it and growing it so you just find a bud that's going in the direction you think you want it to grow and just clip back to that one and let the tree do what it wants to do really um, it's a bit of a free form tree as it grows whichever way it wants to do I just try and keep it in trim I just prune it back every now and again when it needs it. That branch looks dead. That can come up. So I can that one. So I'll take those off. Then bring it to you. That one's not. Yep, that is dead. So I think we'll call it a day for that. That's all we want to do with that. So Japanese wisteria has lovely lilac -y purple flowers in the in the spring. So next year hopefully we'll see it in it when it's got its full canopy of flowers on. Let's just take that one off. I can see another bit that's not gonna be any good for the composition. So that's that one. Chinese wisteria. No, Japanese wisteria, sorry, in the leaning slash windswept style. Thanks very much.